everyone, it's Kelly from Kelly's Bead Boutique. So I've been making and teaching how to make jewelry for a very long time. And one of the comments that I always hear is, you make it look so easy. Well, I think it is, and I wanna show you just how easy it can be. So I'm gonna take some simple parts and some simple techniques and put them together and teach you how to make your very own jewelry. If you wanna see what I'm making today, come and join me. Okay, so to make our piece today, we're gonna to be using some of this really heavy chain that I absolutely love. And the nice thing about this chain is that the links aren't soldered. So it makes it really easy to do this piece because if you need to make it longer or shorter, you can adjust it by opening the links up. So I love this one. We're also gonna be using a couple of these textured rings. I've got two different sizes of jump rings, a little uh, star charm, I've got a lobster clasp, and one of Tierra Cast's Luna Moth pieces, and I've been waiting forever to come up with just the perfect piece for this, because I absolutely love this one, but I just wanted to wait until I found something that I really, really loved. I also have this little decorative glass uh, pendant, and for our tools, we're just going to be using, oh, I've got this here, but we're not gonna need this today, so all I'm gonna be needing today is just my two pliers. I just need a pair of chain nose pliers and bent chain nose pliers, so let's get started. So to make things easier for the video, I've pre-done my chain here. And you can adjust this accordingly. You can make it a little longer or shorter, but I sort of monkeyed around with it quite a bit to make it sit just nicely on the neck. So the lengths that I've come up with is as, that I have two pieces that are 20 lengths long. So all I did was count one, 20 lengths, and then I undid it, and then I just did the second one exactly the same. So all you have to do is just open these up just like a jump ring and I'll actually I'll show you during the video because I'm going to be opening and closing these because I'm using them kind of like jump rings. So you're just going to get one long piece so you'll have to remember these measurements. So the first one you're going to have two that are 20 lengths long. Then you're going to have one that is a singular one that is 33 lengths long and then you're going to have another two that are 30 lengths long. So that's all you're gonna do is just kind of count your lengths. And again, if you muck up and make one a little bit longer than the other, you can easily take one off because they're not soldered. So it's kind of easy to put together. Okay, so to get started, we're gonna take one of our larger jump rings. These are about a six millimeter jump ring. We're gonna open that up and then we're gonna attach it to one of the links that is 20 links long. And we're gonna put that through the wing of the Luna Moth and do that up. And always make sure that you get your um, jump rings done up nice and tight. And sometimes they don't want to work. You just kind of have to boss them into the position that you want. And now I'm going to repeat on the other side. So this is one of the only parts that I couldn't put through because these are heavy and I couldn't get it through the hole. So I just decided to use a jump ring. So now I'm going to put my jump ring through the other side and attach that up. So that's what we have so far. Okay, so now we've got our two chains added to our moth, and now we're gonna go with our middle section. So this is our middle section that has 33 links. So all I'm gonna do on this one is open up these ends and attach them to the rings. So I just find the unsoldered end, and I'm just gonna open that up just like a jump ring. So just open it up nicely and attach it to the ring. And make sure you do it up nice and tight so sometimes you have to jiggle it back and forth, but that metal is pretty soft. Then we're gonna take the other piece that we are just gonna add in, the one with 33 pieces, open that up and put it through um, the ring there. Okay, so we've got that side done and now we're gonna repeat on the other side with the other ring. So I'm gonna open one up and add that in. And then add the other one. It's a pretty simple necklace to put together because it's just like opening and closing a whole pile of jump rings. Okay, so we've got that part added in so far. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to find the middle section. So because we've got an odd number, I will have a middle in there. So now you can, to find the middle, you can just simply put the two pieces together to make your life easy and just kind of bring your chain down until you find that middle one, which is that one there. 
So now that I have the middle of the chain, it's right there, I'm gonna take one of my jump rings and I'm gonna open that up and I'm gonna add my star. And it doesn't matter which way this goes um, because everything's got like reversible on it. So it doesn't matter if you're upside down or backwards because there really isn't any upside down or backwards. So now what we've got happening here is we've got our Luna Moth down here and then we've got our star here. So that's the way we want to have that so far. And it doesn't look like much when it's laying on here, but it sure looks a lot nicer when it's actually on a, um, a neck. So I'll make sure to put it on the mannequin to show you at the end. Okay, so now we're going to take another one of these larger jump rings and we're going to attach our beautiful little glass piece on the bottom. So I'm going to open that up and we're just going to dangle that from the bottom of the moth. And that just kind of finishes that off nicely, it gives it just a, a nice little added touch. Okay, so we've got, so now that's what we've got there. Okay, so now we're going to finish the back part of the necklace. So I'm going to take one of these pieces. Now these are the pieces that have 30 links. So you want to make sure that you are being mindful that you've got the right links all um, figured out before you start this. Okay, so I'm going to open that up and I'm going to attach it to the back there. And then I'm going to repeat on the other side. So once you get your links all figured out, um, this goes together in no time flat. And all the girls had this on in the store yesterday and they all loved how it looked. So it's just one of those really kind of edgy, funky, cool pieces. All right, so now I'm going to take my smallest of jump rings and I'm going to open that up and I'm going to add my clasp. So just add that on either side. It doesn't matter again because this is um, a reversible style necklace. So I'm going to open that up a little more. This is pretty heavy chain, so you have to open up your jump rings a little bit more. And now I've got my lobster clasp and I'm going to add that on there and do that up nice and tight. And now to do that up, all you're going to do is just add that to the very last link. So I'm going to put this on a mannequin and show you how it turned out. So there you go. You can see how fabulous this one looks when it's hanging. I didn't want to do the end of the video on a flat surface because it really just didn't do it any justice. I love this necklace. It may not be my style to wear, but I think a lot of people will really, really like it. One of my employees, her name is Tessa, and that's who this is named after. She wears um, uh, not a very similar piece, but something with the Luna Moth and lots of chain, and that's where my uh, inspiration came from this piece. So I hope you enjoyed this necklace. It's very different from my normal style, but I really wanted to showcase that fabulous uh, Luna Moth from Tierra Cast. I think it's a stunning piece and it's a great jumping off point to be able to create just about anything. So if you did enjoy this uh, necklace, please make sure to give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment. I do love to hear from everybody. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please make sure that you do so. This will be available in kit form and to access the kit you just go down to the drop down menu below the video to the description box and it'll take you to my website which is fully secure so you can shop with safety and there's lots of other great things in there so make sure to have a little look around. So thanks so much for watching and we will see you on the next one.